and welcome to Two Indoor Gaming. And today's quick tutorial is on rotating blocks. This is an invaluable tool if you like to make your designs pop just that little bit extra and get the most out of your block choices. Now to demonstrate this today, I'm using the Mayan Serpent Accent block because it's got three very distinct sides. This is a paid block, by the way, so you won't find it uh, in the regular game. You you'll have to get it. Uh, but the thing is, if you want the different aspects of this you want to use the rotate function or you can do it the old manual way which is simply to move to a different side and place it so it always faces the same way when you place it so by moving here and clicking I am getting the face facing me but I turn back around and it's showing what I need this isn't always practical though of course especially when you're working up high or in tricky areas that are already built in uh, you don't have a lot of room, you can't just run around and place every block from the right direction. You need to use that rotate function. Now the way to do this, it can be very fussy and difficult to get the swing of it at first, but it is worth persevering with. Now you want to hold down your R key on the keyboard, you'll get that swirly arrow ar around your cursor, and then you point at the block hold down your left mouse button and then as you move the left mouse button you're getting your different options you have some fun rotating the block around so you can get the different textures most of the blocks have some different texture at least two different textures a few of them don't like glass blocks whatever but most of them do this also works with some of your items like uh, doors and and torches and tables but some items will only revolve on a horizontal axis not its vertical axis as well so play around uh, you can get some really cool options going with it so there we go as soon as you're happy with that you let go of your left mouse button and then let go of your R key and you're done but you notice you've still got that swirly arrow but now it's got a lock picture on it what that means is you've locked in that rotation so if you want to place a whole heap of those blocks it will now automatically appear on that rotation for you until you either press the R key again or select a different block so if I go to the dirt block in my quick bar you'll see the R automatically switched off and I've lost that rotate so that's good when you're doing a lot of blocks otherwise it would be uh, terrible if you had to rotate every single block that you wanted in a different location but there's another cool feature, not as well known. It took me ages to find this out. I didn't read it anywhere. I didn't see it anywhere. Uh, I might have just been looking in the wrong spots, but uh, I'll pass it on as well. So I have selected the dirt block. Now, if I want to go back and place more, I've decided I want to extend this wall. It's not long enough for me. Well, oh, now I've got to go back, re-rotate it, like so, and then I go and I've got my locked in function right well I don't have to do that there is a quicker way and there's actually the rotate key has like a, f a format paint function if you're familiar with Microsoft Word the format paint function where you copy the format from one thing to another it's just like that with blocks I will can format paint the rotation of a block all I have to do is point at the block I want to imitate press R notice immediately I'm getting the swirl and the lock function now if I place that it will copy the rotation like so for me so I didn't have to rotate it again so all I had to do was click the R on the block and I've basically copied that format the rotation format and it's like pasting it format painter like so very handy great when you're doing a big build and you're playing around and you're testing or you're extending and rather than having to re-rotate everything which can sometimes be a little bit tricky you just copy and paste effectively the format for it very helpful trip uh, trick let me say now the thing is you are copying not the block but the rotate so if I was to now go and select stairs which can be rotated which creates some really good decorating effects uh, now I I like th this one which was a rotate to get that block all I had to do is rotate from the top 
See, now be aware where you do that X will determine where you rotate, where the movement of the mouse will affect. You're basically grabbing that block with your X. Better mention that. So, but this block is just down to give me that texture. Now, I like that texture, or I like that function, flipping my stairs from basically from the top. So I'm looking at the top rather than the, s the front. So I will copy it with the R. So I've got stairs already selected. Remember, if I move that and select something else, it will lose the rotate format. So make sure you've got the block selected before you do the rotate copy. And then when I place it, there we go. It's already being rotated for me. So you are copying the, the format of the rotation, not the block. It is a format painter, not a block painter, basically. So yeah, that's rotation in a nutshell. Go crazy with it decorate your builds you will find some amazing com uh, combinations some amazing looks and I'd love for you to share for share them in the comments give me a link and uh, and I'll give you a comment too okay thanks for watching I'll catch you next time on two indoor gaming